What's up guys, CP Modi here back with another video. Now when it comes to Windows Icon Pack, sometimes you can't find exactly the right one for your setup. So today we're going to show you how to make your own Icon Pack. And actually, it's a lot easier than you may think. So first thing that we need to do is actually get ready for what we're going to be doing with our Icon Pack. The first thing you're probably going to want to grab yourself is Photoshop if you're going to be following along with this tutorial. Whilst you don't necessarily need Photoshop, for the purpose of this video, I'm going to be using it. Now if you don't own it or you don't own the full version of Photoshop, jump over to the Adobe website and grab yourself the free 7 day trial. It'll have plenty enough time to go ahead and make all the icons you want and it's free so you don't really need to worry there. However if you do like it, you can also do pick it up once that trial is over. Now as I did mention, you don't necessarily need to grab yourself Photoshop to do this project. Using other things like GIMP or even Microsoft Paint is able to do so, however again for this video we'll be using Photoshop shop for our project. And that's kind of it, to make your own custom icon packs. And I guess also too, you may want some inspiration, so doing some Googling can also to help in finding a set of icons you may like to design if you are going down the line of yourself. Now for today, we're taking a look at our Dell XPS 15, which has a really nice, interesting icon pack that makes everything sort of just consistent across the operating system. Whether it be down on the taskbar or up on the desktop, the icons are exactly the same and looks really, really nice. So once we've gone ahead and installed Photoshop and we are all ready to go. We're going to make ourselves a 125 by 125 pixel project and that's where we're going to be making our icon packs. Now today we'll be making this sort of round bubbly kind of icon that looks really nice on the desktop and has a clean looking appearance. To do so we're going to make one circle and then another circle making sure that the first circle that we made is completely filled in and the second circle that we made is actually only filled in on the border of the icon much like this. We don't want the center filled in but but we want an outline so it has like a nice border around the icon that we are making. Once we've done that we're going to jump on the internet if you do want to use an internet image and we're going to download it and put it straight into our project. Make sure the ring is on top of the project layers and make sure the bottom circle that we made is obviously on the bottom and bam now we have this kind of looking project. If you want to type your own text or draw your own picture that is completely fine as well but just do that in this step and make sure it's in between the two layers that we have have going on here. Once we've done that, we're going to go ahead and save it out as a PNG file. Then we're going to go over and jump over to this website called Convert ICO, and we can upload our images and download them directly back as icon files. Now, fortunately, at the time of recording, Windows 10 does not support direct PNG uploads, so we will need to convert them to an icon style photo before we can actually select them as usable images on the system. However, that being said, there are a few editions out there of Windows that do still technically work with PNG files. But for the best compatibility, just go ahead and convert them over like so. Once we've converted them and saved them back, what we're going to need to do is set up a folder that will not be deleted. For me, I created in the root of the C drive because I know for a fact I'm never going to delete this icon pack folder because it's in the C drive. If you make it on the desktop and you happen to move it, all your icons will just turn into straight black boxes and it'll look pretty trash and take a lot of time to fix. So for me, I'm creating it in C folder and boom, we're going to put the icon icons right in here. Once the icons are saved to the correct location, what we can do is right click on our shortcuts on the desktop and go ahead into the properties tab and look for where we have our change icon settings. Once we do that, we're going to navigate over to our C drive where we have the icon packs, select the icon that is applicable for our program and boom, we're basically done. Hit apply and the icon will now refresh with the brand new icon that you just redesigned. And it's really that simple. Now if you want the taskbar like what we have right here, simply unpin the existing programs on your taskbar, drag the desktop icons down onto the taskbar and boom, now you've updated your taskbar's version of the icons as well. Now for the taskbar, it's not 100% foolproof. Built-in Windows applications such as Calculator and Calendar unfortunately can't be updated with this method. Unfortunately, it's just something we haven't really figured out yet and we'll have to come down for a later video at that. But at the end of the day, you should be left with something looking relatively clean here. Now you may have noticed I have no shortcut names. They're just the icon for a really clean look. To do so, what we're gonna do is hold down Alt and then on the numpad type 255. 
we're going to release alt and boom now we have nothing now if you go ahead and do this on multiple different icons what you're going to be finding is unfortunately it's going to just rename it to two three four and so on and so forth so what you're going to do is copy and paste that little alt tag that we just typed from the first icon and paste it twice in the second one three times in the third four times in the fourth and so on and so forth so you have consecutively different enabled icons but they all don't have any characters in there once we've set the clean icons select yourself a nice looking wallpaper and color scheme and boom now you have yourself a really custom looking PC with a cool icon pack that doesn't have any shortcut links if you want to remove the little shortcut icons like what I've done right here grab yourself Windows tweaker and we can actually go ahead and do that which gives a really clean experience if you don't want to go ahead and download the Windows Tweaker tool, what you can do is also to jump into the registry and I'll leave an article linked down below how to do this because it does go into a little bit more detail, which we won't necessarily be going into for today's video. So there we go, it is really that simple. If you want to go ahead and use someone else's icon pack, it's just as simple, but cut out the Photoshop layer. Simply put them in a folder that's not going to be deleted, right click on your existing icon, go ahead and change your icon properties and now you can select the icon that has been pre-made. It's a really simple process and really adds a personal touch to your Windows operating system. If you are on the Mac side, it's a similar process for the Photoshop styles. Just going ahead and setting the icons are a little bit different. So you can look up a guide for that, but at the end of the day, right click on the Mac icons, go ahead to your properties settings and go ahead and look for where you can change your icon. And it's really that simple. Adds a really unique touch. And I personally love the icon pack that I've made for my system. Now, if you do like my icon pack that I built right here, today and you want to grab it for yourself whether that will be the Photoshop template or the actual finished icons go ahead check that description box to the CP model website and you'll find yourself a download link where you can grab the icon pack and also to the Photoshop template so all you need to do is set the icons or set the Photoshop template to be well whatever you want it's really awesome check that description box and let me know what you create down in that comment section otherwise guys thanks for watching and again do let me know what you create in that comment section and if you make your own icon pack check us a link down below. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one.